This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone and welcome to the new tutorial. In today's tutorial we're, we're gonna be creating pause menu. So we'll start by just creating user interface widget blueprint user widget and we're gonna call it widget blueprint, widget blueprint pause menu. And we can go ahead and open it. Let's make canvas panel so we can work uh, somewhere. And first thing, I'm gonna add blur. So we are gonna add background blur. And how can we put it as a full screen? It's pretty simple, just do it like that. Anchor it to the full screen, set, uh, reset this to zero, offset uh, to zero as well, and offset bottom to zero. Okay, so now if we go ahead and make our blur stronger we can put it as a let's say 10 you can uh, fit it to your likings then we will create vertical box which is gonna hold all of our buttons uh, make sure to put it in canvas panel and not in the background blur and now we'll just position it to mid anchor it to mid press 0 0 and align it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and we can put size 400, 500. Now when we did that, we can add buttons. We will have two buttons for now. You can add more, of course, whatever you need. And we're gonna make this actually a little bit smaller, maybe 200. And position to 0 again. And set buttons to fill. And let's make padding like 100, like that. And now we'll just add text to our buttons. The first button is going to be resume, so it's going to unpause our menu. And the second button is going to be quit. Or you can uh, create a back to main menu. Uh, depends what you want, but right here I don't have main menu set it up so i'm just gonna quit game with this button so we can go ahead and uh, name this button quit button and on pressed uh the the difference between on clicked and on pressed is if you select on clicked if you press click but then remove your click from there and go anywhere else with the mouse it's not gonna trigger but here when you when you press it, it insta triggers. So it's just for me, it looks better. And from the quit button, we're just gonna quit uh, game. Simple as that. Okay, so our UI is done here, uh, but we need to uh, set it up. So when we press it, uh, it actually shows on the screen. So in my case, I want to put it as a P. Uh, most of people want to have it on escape. But uh, I want to put it on a P because we cannot test it with escape. I mean, we could test it, but there is a lot of things we need to change hotkeys, blah, blah, blah. So uh, for editor, you can set up P. But when you are packaging the game, I recommend setting it to escape as a lot of people have this, uh, uh, how do you say, In they just uh, usually have it on escape. Okay, so input. Uh, right click input input action and call it ia pause go ahead and open it up we need to select trigger when paused because when we pause the game we want to unpause it with the button so if we don't select this uh we cannot uh, use our keyboard or anything so select this make sure you select it save and we can exit that one go to mc and uh, add ia pause and let it be P. You can also add more, but for the sake of this tutorial, if you want to add more, you can just go ahead like this and press, let's say, escape, but I don't want it right now. Okay, save, leave. Okay, so now uh, all that is left is to go to our third person character. We have this third person template. Uh, and here we're gonna get a reference to our to our pause menu so we're gonna create widget from the begin play and we be pause menu and we're just gonna promote it to variable and call it 
pause menu, VB, widget blueprint, pause menu, reference. Just like that. So this is not doing anything, it's not setting it on the viewport, it's just getting our us our reference there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and press uh, type in EA pause. And from uh, started, we're gonna create branch. And we're gonna create a new boolean called is pause menu widget is uh is paused. We can just do it like that. By default, it's not gonna be paused, and we can connect it here. That's gonna be our condition. So from here, we want to if uh, the game is is paused, when we press uh, this button. If the game is already paused, we want to hide the pause menu, and if it's not paused, we want to pause it. But we're gonna do it with the function, so it's gonna be a lot more cleaner. So let's go ahead and uh, first we're gonna hide pause, actually first show pause. Maybe. Just like that. So from here we're gonna set game pause and set it to truth. So the game is paused. From there we're gonna uh, set we will get our pause menu reference and we're gonna add it to viewport. And from there we're gonna um, get our player controller and set input game and UI just like that and from the same get player controller we can copy it here we can set show mouse cursor and set it to true so we want to see our mouse cursor when we press P so this is for showing and now we're gonna do the same for hiding so go ahead and create new fu function hide pause menu and we can copy all of this and just change a couple of things so this is gonna be paused uh, unchecked because we are not gonna pause it we are resuming the game and here we're gonna remove it from parent so it removes it from the viewport and here we're gonna set game only just like that and also we're gonna hide our cursor okay so now if we go ahead and test it out if we press p nothing happens that's because we didn't set it up in the event graph so with these functions here so if the game is paused if that is true we want to unpause it so hide pause because the game is already paused that means we already opened this window and we're trying to close it with the p so we're just gonna hide it and if that is uh, false, if the game is not paused, we're gonna pause it. Just like that. So save, compile and save. And go ahead and test it out. If you press P, the game is paused. If you press resume, nothing happens because we need to do something else. So we didn't set up our function in the resume. So here we're gonna... Uh, on pressed we're gonna set game paused do not be paused right and basically we can just go ahead and copy the thing that is here so we will just remove it from the parent and set it like that so we can delete this and copy this one just like that we don't need reference because it's self, it's this pause menu, and everything should be working right now. If we go ahead and test it out, F11, pause, if I resume, as you can see, it works perfect. Let's see, as you can see, it stops the whole game, when we resume, it continues. So we can go ahead and quit, and that works as well. So. That's really simple way to create pause menu. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.